Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we're on a map called Natural Threats and up in the north position with the Scion player, none other than the Infantry Marikar. All the way down in the south position facing him today, we have the Jilly Demolition with Red. This is expert player Boyka. All both players here are expert. Marikar actually classed as Master. This replay is from March 2023, so over a year old now, I believe. So, Boink is spreading out his workers, as you probably would expect. It looks like he's going down all the three different lanes, if we count. This is a lane, the middle is a lane, and the left is a lane. I think here is pretty much standard to have a tunnel because you get the free RPGs going straight inside of this building. Repair it as well. But the infantry has strong infantry as well, so um, that can be repaired and sometimes can actually just beat that, even if there's a worker repairing it because they get the veterancy. Uh, but Marikot is going for a helix. He's done a truck rush over on the right hand side, denied Boyka some uh, vision and control over there. Over on the left hand side, we've got Boyka building a tunnel next to the oil. I think that's the more important one, getting the uh, tunnel by the oil. Because that is just map control, whereas this is map control plus uh, economy because the oil is there. But sadly for Maricardo, he has uh, not crushed the worker, which probably is going to ensure that the dozer does die. But he did kill the um, he did kill the rebel, and the helix is already on the way. Pretty sure there will not be a quad out. There is a quad, but not inside of the tunnel. At least one missile, uh, sorry, one uh, minigunner inside of there. Could be two. Now heading straight towards the base. Think boy could better drop down a stinger just in case. I think if that helix had just descended on that position, I think Boyka would have been dead. But Marikar can't be sure how much anti air is inside of that tunnel. Marikar now had it over to the right. Boyka's regaining control of that left. Tech RPG unloads and under the helix. Helix taking some damage. Quad pop. Oil will go down, but the Helix is half HP. Marikar doubling down to the Helix. It's gone for two Helixes. Uh, kind of Fargo style, isn't it? Likes to go for double Helix. But Boyko is pretty confident now in just making uh, a ton of quads, and that is going to counter these Helixes. Marikar loads up the full HP one. Sends the injured one back. It's quite an investment, though. I think infantry overall has the advantage here and should probably win more than 50% of the time. You should just load up a few outposts, get a flamer with it, and you can push through most things. Of course, if you go later on, palace gets up, the scud launcher is out. Some of that can be stopped. But it's before getting to that point when demo is kind of weak against the inf, I think. So far, Marikar killed quite a lot, 395. But Boyka does have more map control. Now captured that oil over on the left-hand side. Boyka also preparing a TNT, and he's got a Helix. Sorry, not a Helix, a Stinger now on the... Uh, <laughs> would be impressive if Boyka did have a Helix. He's got a Stinger over on the right to stop that Helix push in that position. Rebel push for Boyka. It's not going to do anything, but it is going to provide a bit of a scout. See, Boyka can see a lot of the map. He can't see here, though. I am, I am He's sending the TNT out, just in case there's something coming. Look at Marikar's vision. He doesn't have that much. Nothing will stop our bullets. But he has got this oil, which is good for him. So he's got he's got more XP, and he's got himself an oil, which is like one for one, because uh, the demo Buika has one as well. But that one's more exposed. Carpet and artillery will take that out later on uh, quite easily, I think. Boyka needs to uh, get on a palace. But I think he's focusing on his economy first, getting this third supply. But one of the next things should be a palace rather than like more tunnels and stuff. But he's building a stinger over on the left. A lot of outposts now coming out for Marikar. He looks again clearing out this right side. I mean, this might be the right thing to do, actually, stingers, because it'll pop open these uh, outposts pretty well. A technical has got through... Is it going to go for the War Factory? It's going around the War Factory for now. 
Gets the TNT on the prop. There's still a TNT remaining there. Marikar has spotted it, though. It's going to go down. That's a nice pickle there from Boyka. Resetting the prop is good because it delays the uh, ECMs and Lotus. But the Lotus might have already been queued up, and he might have already queued up a load of ECMs. He's queued up at least one because we've seen one already. One outpost goes down. Flamer getting stopped. Helix coming in as well, but there's still a quad there, actually. It's doing some good damage against that Helix. I think, though, that Boyka will be able to stop this. Pops a bunch of quads. Some of these are injured as it is. Marikar does have two quite fully loaded outposts. That's an expensive loss there for Boyka. Each one of these quads, $750, and he lost a bunch there. Uh, behind this, he is making a palace. Boyka is slowly stopping this. TNT from the back. Helix comes in as well. Unloads in front of the tunnel. Marikar is going to gain this position. I'm guessing maybe there was not a Lotus queued. Because I would have thought he would have the Lotus already brought over there. Already capturing that. Might capture it with the minigunner. But there's a booby trap on it. Doesn't Marikar know about that? Because uh, when you capture it, it will detonate. And everything around it will take damage and or die. Yeah, I think Maricon knows about it because he's not capturing it yet, even though he has the uh, capture upgrade. He's now focusing on the middle. Needs to get a subliminal mission from the prop now as you rebuilt it. Oh, he is capturing it. Okay. I thought he was aware of the booby trap, but maybe not. Maybe forgot. He definitely saw it at one point because he had uh, outpost there, which is obviously stealth detection. Mm, Palace is up now. I wonder if he's going to be going for Scud launchers or is he going to go for demo bikes and the Jarman? I think Jarman is a given. But what would he go for with it? Scud launcher would be ideal right now. Let's just think he popped the Scud launcher from there. It hits there, pops open all of this. Jarman will have a field day. Artillery now from America and carpet. I think it will be focused on that middle bunker there because that's like the strong point and you'll probably get the tunnel some workers and a quad with it oh he actually does it quite deep okay still kills the bunker though can be repaired here's a scud launcher yeah i think if boyke didn't go scud launcher i think he's going to lose that position and probably lose the match but the fact that he's now gone scud launcher does make it a bit more interesting because marikar is going to struggle now to clear that a bit Radar now up for Marikar. Marikar's on two oils and getting his third. I think Boyka wants to take some of these oils out. Um, demo upgrade is in play. Scud fires another shot. Pops open an outpost and John McHale's here as well. Yeah, this is nice play from Boyka because it's not easy to play with a demo against Nymphia. Definitely playing good. I think now more stingers up the front would be good. He's wasting some quads here. Don't want to waste too many. Demo bike is absolutely perfect. Gets an ECM and two outposts. All of the uh, tank hunter dudes are on the run. Another hit on another outpost. Boyka's uh, got a fake market in the back. Yeah, Boyka's doing about as well as uh, expected for um, demo, or about, about as well as you can hope to want, uh, want to do, basically. So it's always going to be a struggle. It's never going to be a complete walkover unless you try some amazing rush. But if the game progresses to the mid stage, holding on to the mid like this with the Scud launchers, probably as good as you can hope for. However, the oils are an issue. Boyka needs to sort out them oils. But he is going to be level 3 soon. Demo Rebel Ambush would be on the cards, but he doesn't have a CC. It's a good launcher again for Boyka. Oh, he gets himself a truck and an ECM. This one is deflected by the ECM. Did see a Lotus somewhere. She's over here on the left. Super Lotus, rather. Boyka stolen himself a Flamer, which is pretty cute. Marikar with some uh, defensive Gatling cannons 
And he's gone for MIGs. No napalm just yet, though. And he's about to mine out on his main $750. Here comes the carpet from Marika. Pretty much the same position as before. He's going for this tunnel on some workers. Boyk is selling his main supply after it's mined out. Lotus has been detected. Jarman's been detected. Seems to take a direct hit from a MIG. Makes him in and pick off the Scud launcher. Yeah, Marikar's playing really well. Because he, he is pushing Boyka back very, very slowly. And Boyka doesn't have a CC for Demo Rebel Ambush. Does a 4K though. That's the frustrating thing. Jarman did get picked off. Does have worker's shoes though. We know what worker's shoes brings normally for GLA. Normally brings a victory. Flamer on the right. Could be killing that oil. Are these just some little mistakes that Boyka can't afford to be making here against Marika? Like not having the CC and not flaming down that oil is quite big. He has killed this though. Oh, Lotus. Boyka knows about it though. He's moving his, uh, his RPGs there because he'll detonate the RPG to kill the Lotus. So Lotus has to run, which she is doing. Angry Mob is out to clear the, <laughs> clear the minefield. Angry Mob can't really go much further forward, though, because these uh, Gatling cannons are just going to counter a lot of stuff. Demo bikes, they'll get countered by uh, those, those Gats. TNTs, Angry Mobs, any random workers, stuff like that will get countered by them. Nice play there from America. But yeah, that oil should be dead or significantly damaged. We can now make it a CC. Hmm. Is Marikar going to make any hackers? That's an interesting question. Buka has three markets. Oh. Is that a Vet 3 Scud launcher? That's amazing. It's got a red missile. <laughs> well, the red trail, rather. He's damaging these trucks. He's to get a slightly better shot, though. You get it right, you'll kill all of them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Migs are on the way. Artillery's on the way. Carpet's on the way. So if Boyka can just manage to mine out the rest of that, I think it's been a success in the middle. Ooh, the ECM actually messed things up there. The ECM actually pushed the missile into the army of uh, outposts there for a sec. Got a Vet 2 Jarman and a Vet 3 Mega Missile. Plus the Demo Rebel Ambush is going to be ready. Like right now. Could be used there. Yeah, he's doing it. I think Boykin might be doing this uh, whole match, to be honest. Marikal is struggling. Yeah, everything on the ground is getting pushed back. Boyka now on the aggression. All the MiGs getting shot down. I think Boyka's done it. I think Boyka has done it. I think Marikar going into this was the favorite, but I think uh, Boyka found the early game. And I, I bet Marikar, if he's watching this, which I, I think he normally watches most of his things, his replays on this channel, I think he'll probably be kicking himself about that helix in the beginning. Because if it had gone to Boyka's main, I'm pretty sure he would have won in the first three minutes. But now, Boyka is doing a bit of a comeback. And it certainly looks like he might take this match. There's three helixes out there for Marikar. One of them convinced, though, is empty. And one of the full ones is dead. AP ammo in play for Boyka. Yeah, hey, look how much cash he's got now. You can just tell how much cash he's got. He's just, like, creeping forward with everything. Quads, tunnels. Even uh, brave enough to build a supply here to take Marikar's cash. Just needs to find a way to deal with that. Oh, I don't know about... Yeah, I don't know about that. How many quads is he going to lose? Okay, he only loses one quad in the end. Okay. Maybe that dozer could have carried on repairing. But Marikar is just getting pushed back all over the place.
Yeah. Copy. I'm pretty much on the same position as before. Marikar has been defeated. Well, the, uh, <laughs> the conspiracy is over. I mean, the conspiracy was already over. I just realized uh, as we were approaching the end there, if Boyker had lost and never matched, the people would have been in the comments, ah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is too much of a coincidence now. The, the conspiracy was that I only posted Boyker losses. But the truth is I download any replay that's like over 100 kilobytes between two top players and I store it away and then I, I pull one out of the bag every, every now and again. This one, it seems uh, Boyka managed to get the win. Yeah, GG, well played. That was actually quite a decent game to get the win there with Demo. Because I guarantee you, if you play Demo against like a high-level infantry, it is, uh, is kind of tough. You'll find it tough. So uh, yeah, GG, well played. Let me know if you want in the comments. I will see you in the next one.